All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video for you today, and this one is something that we haven't done before because we have currently the John Deere 1025R. It's a 2017 model, and this has been a great workhorse for us, but we have actually been thinking about upgrading to a larger tractor just because of the things we've been doing on the property. Um, we're kind of expanding, and I think we're starting to get limited. It's not that this can't do certain things, which... It does have its uh, caps and its capabilities, but it just takes a lot longer, right? Now, there are some things that this won't do that I think in the future we're gonna need, um, especially when we put livestock. The John Deere 1025R just doesn't have the, the capability of lifting as much as we are, we're gonna need. So, But the purposes of this video today is to give you guys our seven must have upgrades that we would want on a new tractor if we were to purchase one. And I think it's something that you guys can think about as well as us throughout the process, but we've done a lot of research and a lot of, of reviewing on what we might want and what we might need looking into the future. This is just kind of, I've maybe reached its limits. So we'll go ahead and get started right away. Um, before we get, get into it though, I want to just say thank you for all of you guys that always come back and watch our videos. We couldn't do this without you. It really helps us if you would hit that like button and subscribe because that's kind of how YouTube works and we want to get you as much content out there. And if we can share that and you guys help me out on the channel, we truly appreciate it. Um, but let's go ahead and get started here. We'll go ahead and start with the first one. Um, I got my notes down here because I don't want to miss any, but... <clears throat> The first one is going to be a third function straight from the seat where you can run front hydraulics, right? We would love to be able to have the ability to use a grapple on the front, different implements like that. And you have to have that capability to have the hydraulics oh. in the front. We do a lot of firewood, picking up logs, moving logs around. And with the pallet forks, yeah, you can do it, but there's times where it rolls off and you know, you, you work a little bit more because you're trying to move it around. If you had the ability just to grab it and go, it would save our lives a little bit more. So I think that's gonna that would be a good upgrade. And I think that's the top of my list that I really want is a front grapple and the ability to run front hydraulics. With hydraulics, the second one is uh, rear hydraulics. The ability to run rear hydraulics. Um, so much you can do with rear hydraulics but one of the main features to go with that is a hydraulic top link and then a uh, tilt cylinder right Let's run a hydraulic tilt cylinder and top link when we grade on the property either box splitting the driveway doing things out on the pasture or if we're moving dirt around whatever the case may be the ability to just shift on a fly backwards forwards left and right would just be hands down a great upgrade for us. Save us time and energy, and it actually would do a lot better work instead of us having to get off there and adjust every time the side to side or the top link, how much it's taken, how much it's not. So the rear hydraulics, top link, and tilt cylinder is right up there as well. One thing that's really important to us is a mid pto so underneath a mid pto now the couple the tractors that we're looking at is the lower version is a john deere 2038r um i still think that might be a little bit small but we're still doing some research the next one would be a series up which is the john deere 30 either 39r or the 3046r um, we might want that 46 horsepower but we'll see where, where it comes in. But with those, those are the three series is the largest series that you can get a mid PTO. And it's very imperative for us that we want a mid PTO because we might run a, want to run a front implement that utilizes that. But also we have to have a mid mount mower uh, for the tractor because of our property and how it's laid out. We need that four wheel drive capabilities. We can't use just a, a zero turn, unfortunately. So we, we need to use that. I know it's heavier, but um, I think that we can we can use that. Uh, wheel spacers. So we live on a big hill, as you guys have seen throughout the channel, and safety is a big thing. 
So wheel spacers to be able to give you that just a little extra spacing on the rear. Um, I know that the three series, you have the ability to flip the tires to where they're, they're wider, but we might want to add some wheel spacers just for stability purposes, because that's um, high on the list. We, we don't want to do anything that's unsafe. Safety is always uh, our first and foremost in our minds. And then with that, it kind of goes into the, the fifth thing that we would want is we currently have wheel weights on the John Deere 1025R. I don't know if we would want the wheel weights on the, the tractor that we decide to go with because of the price and how much it costs, but we've been thinking about doing things like rim guard, um, so that liquid ballast weight that goes into your tractor. Um, so we're gonna, we really would wanna get that. I think that would be a great upgrade for us is putting rim guard in it. And then we got two more here. I think I've already mentioned this, but lift capacity, right? So the John Deere 1025R can't lift. Um, I mean, it lifts more than what the specs say. I'm just going to be real with you. It lifts so much more than what the specs say, and it, it does a wonderful job. But we want to be able to have the lift capacity where we can move either firewood, IBC totes around full of firewood, or maybe want to pick up larger logs. But one thing that's very important is the ability to pick up round bales. And I've done some research on it, and I think the larger series tractors with the, the three series, that I believe it's a 320, 320R loader, and the 220 uh, le leveling loader, I think those ability to pick up some round bales will help us out when we have livestock. So we want the, we want a larger lift capacity for the front loader. And then finally, it's going to be these new R14 tires. I've heard a lot of great things about them. We currently have the R4s on this. And yeah, they tear up the yard a little bit when you're driving around. They do a pretty good job and they have good grip, but they do tear up the yard at times. And if we're going to have a heavier tractor, um, we want to be able to have that R14 VersaTurf, I think is what they're called, or not VersaTurf, but the R14s to where they don't tear up the lawn quite as much, but still give you that traction to be able to utilize it the best of their ability. So, hey, that's what I think we have for our seven must-haves if we do upgrade. It's a, it's a process, so stay tuned throughout our process. Hopefully we we make the determination what we want to do and we'll be bringing you plenty of videos on it but in the meantime we're going to keep using keep working this workhorse the john near 1025r it has been just a phenomenal tractor and for any of you who might be thinking what you might want to do i highly recommend the john near 1025r it has so many capabilities above what people say um so let me run through them real quick one more time third function for front hydraulics we got the rear hydraulics so you can run a top link and a tilt uh, cylinder we want a mid pto for mid mount mower or for front implements we might run wheel spacers wheel liquid ballast lift capacity so a larger loader and then finally the r14 tires that way they don't tear up the lawn so I know this was a, maybe a quick video or maybe I drawn out you guys. I don't usually just stand here and talk to you guys. So I, hopefully I didn't bore you too much, but I just wanted to kind of give you an update of what were our thought processes and where we might want to go in the future. Um, just because we are kind of outgrowing the John Deere 1025R. But hey, once again, I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, see ya.